The U.S. government has backtracked on its decision to outlaw older versions of cluster bombs, which were due to be banned from 2019. Now, the U.S. military has indefinitely delayed the ban. The Pentagon has released a statement explaining the move. The department will retain cluster munitions currently in active inventories until the capabilities they provide are replaced with enhanced and more reliable munitions. Cluster munitions are designed to kill military personnel and destroy armoured vehicles. But due to their lack of precision, the vast majority of victims tend to be civilians. They've already been banned in over 100 countries. When a cluster bomb goes off, multiple bomblets are dispersed over an area as large as a football field. But around 20% of them fail to immediately detonate and remain on the ground. Years after a conflict is over, they can be triggered accidentally, often by children. Political analyst Paul Kawika Martin believes there's no legitimate reason to continue using such weapons. Uh, I don't see no le legitimacy as far as in the moral sense. I'm sure they're legitimate in the Pentagon's eyes as far as if you were uh, a war maker or a war profiteer. Uh, but in the, in the eyes of most of the community, uh, the world community that is, they're certainly not legitimate. Some of these weapons, uh, were, which has about a 20% failure rate, so there's 20% of these little bombs that stay on the ground uh, that, um, uh, that unfortunately children and other people end up picking up. Uh, they are unexploded and they could be left there for years. It's clear that countries who have large militaries want to have as many options as possible, uh, and so they're less likely to want to to ban them, um, especially the major powers. Those are the ones that tend to be less likely to ban weapon systems, and that includes uh, Russia, China, um, the U.S., sometimes India and others.